get this going here, quadratic functions and their zeros. Now zeros we're going to use, this is the same thing as x-intercepts. So zeros are x-intercepts. Sometimes they're also called roots, depending upon what piece of technology you're using. Find the roots, the, those are the zeros, those are the x-intercepts, that's the same thing. And another word we use for this is solutions. They all mean the same thing. Now, with <coughs> If the solutions are imaginary, and we're not going to get into that uh, until, I don't remember now what chapter, my mind is gone, uh, is that if they're imaginary, they can't be x-intercepts, but they can be zeros, they can be solutions, they can be roots, but they can't be x-intercepts because imaginary numbers don't cross the x-axis. That's why they're imaginary. So. Uh, but these words are all used interchangeably and are all done the same way and that's by taking whatever the function is and setting it equal to zero. So whatever the function is, is set it equal to zero. A quadratic function is of the form ax squared plus bx plus c, where a, b, and c are real numbers. a can't be zero. If a is zero, that term goes away, and then what you have is something which is linear. And a quadratic equation of the form is ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. This is all stuff we've done. Finding zeros or solutions or roots or x-intercepts to a quadratic equation. We have several methods. Uh, method number one is factoring. Uh, that's usually my first step. If it looks like it factors, I'll factor it. However, once you get into application problems, 90% or 95% of application problems don't factor. And so that's not going to do you any good. But book problems will factor. The square root property. Now that's where you don't have any B term. So in other words, what you have done is look at having a squared term and a constant. You can throw the constant to the other side, use the square root property, then you take the square root of both sides, don't forget the plus or minus, and then solve for x. Square root property. Uh, another one that we've used is quadratic formula. <coughs> Uh, quadratic formula, and that's what you'll use most of the time, is that x equals minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Again, been there, done that, and then here is an <coughs> example of, uh, in detail, of quadratic formula and how it's used. You can run through that. You are capable of reading. I don't have to go through that with you. You can take a look at it yourself.